Her Gagaslonina, the Chicago Fire goalie, has what every 18-year-old soccer prodigy dreams of. Big clubs after him, but not just any big clubs. Now Real Madrid and Chelsea competing for his signature. Put yourself in his dream shoes. Where would you go right now between those two? <laughs> Impossible scenario to put myself in those shoes. Listen, he's still a teenager. He's still mm -hmm. very raw. The intangibles are there. You don't have this type of attention, this type of team. Real Madrid and Chelsea vying for your signature if they don't see a bright future. But after everything I've seen with Chelsea and their pursuit of players and how they handle said players mm. in this region, I go Real Madrid. I go the unproven. I'm hoping either loan me back out here to Major League Soccer or elsewhere, or in Real Castilla, I can develop and they can show me how to be a better goalkeeper. But we've seen the Chelsea system with players. Ulises Davila, we've seen it with uh, Matt Miazga. This sense that I just want their signature. I just mm. want to own them. And then what happens to these players? Loan after loan after loan in obscure club and they don't go back or never fulfill their potential of what once could be. I'm with you. Chelsea is like the stockpile club, right? We think of a guy like Matt Miazga. You see him sent over there and you say, okay, he's part of Chelsea. Never really sniffed any type of, of first team, forget minutes, uh, even like contact with the first team. So you go to Chelsea, that doesn't mean you're really there. I think Real Madrid might have a, a slightly deeper plan for a guy like Gaga Sonny. That's very exciting to me. Um, let's think about it, though, from, from his playing standpoint here, because you say he's very raw. So what's missing in his game? A, a lot. The intangibles are there because of his age, because of his size, because of how good he is this young. You almost forget he's not a finished product, mm -hmm. but he's playing against grown men. He's playing against some very finished products, and the errors are there. The mistakes are there mentally. And what I mean by mentally is experience, and you need to go through these growing pains to get better. But a lot of the goals that the Chicago Fire are letting and a lot of the losses that are being produced or results that aren't being had have to do with Gaga Slonina. This is a reality. He will have to go through this. He will have to experience these bump in the roads, uh, in the road, excuse me, to get better as a player. Coming out, decision making on crosses, uh, learning how to stay with the ball, when to and where to parry, things like this could be beneficial to a player like Gaga Slonina. But the attitude is there, the mentality, how humble and how hungry he is, I love. And I repeat, the raw intangibles are what excites people about this player. From all the interest, Herc, it really seems like right now is when a deal is going to get done. And it does very much feel like Sonina is going to move to one of these two teams, Real Madrid or Chelsea. If he does, we know for a fact he's not going to go there and be the starter. We pretty much know for a fact he's not going to go there and even be in the first team. What is very likely to happen, whether it's Chelsea or Real Madrid, is a loan. Would the best spot for that loan still be for him to stay in Major League Soccer and Chicago? Or at 18, is he already ready for what would be another challenge. Well, in the media, until the rest of the season finishes and the transfer window opens, it's stay in Major League Soccer because you're not going to go right now, I don't feel. Uh, it may be difficult to get a winter loan, but your best bet would be to get a situized uh, team going. Somewhere where you know this is the plan, this will happen. It's not just out of thin air because they vied for your signature. Playing time is crucial right now. The only place that will guarantee you that today is realistically the Chicago Fire. Now, there's somewhere else in a league like La Liga, in a league like the French League, somewhere mid-table or below team that will give him the opportunity of fighting for that one position. Or even in a setup where he'll be tested day in or day out in Europe, you do that. But you need to play. This is yep. about developing. This is about minutes. This is about you being the best possible version of yourself for the future. All right, so there it is. Gaga Slonina linked to pretty much every team in Europe, but the big boys especially, Real Madrid and Chelsea, fighting for the youngster's signature. We'll see what happens in the coming weeks and months. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.